Hello and welcome. We're going to talk about uh, Topo Solids and how to accomplish what you see here in 3D with the purple contours and the grey contours. Um, again, just uh, flow along and do it by yourself. Uh, you will see it goes uh, very smoothly. And also we're going to make a beautiful side plan how the ground behaves on a certain place. So we can show off your fans how cool uh, you can make a side plan. First things first, we are going to start with uh, modeling a topo solid. Where do you find that? Very simple. You go to Messing and Side tab. Right here we have your topo solid. And voila, already made the topo solid. So uh, you can see it just thickness of 200. Now here you can just model like you will do it with the floor. And we will make... Um, this shape of voila. Uh, maybe we're gonna move it a little bit bigger and voila there you have it. Um, we're gonna also go to the 3D view and voila this is our model to begin with and now we can just go to the view right here and then do tile views so we can easily see what you are doing in the 3D. It's always handy. Well, now we're going to modify the topo solids. So uh, right here on the modify supplements, then we're going to add a point and just in the middle right here, we're going to add some points as the, that it says. And now just around it, this will be obviously higher here in the middle. So just select one and then you can just go modify the points. So that it will be a higher like this and whoop. and that's actually how it works it's not that hard and in the meantime you can add a point right here or here or here then just escape one time and then you just can uh, tr uh, adding some new ones or modify the others like this and in 3d right here we can follow how the top solid is behaving so i'm gonna skip this part a bit so the video isn't too long and see you in a bit so that's the shape that we quite become now we're gonna do the next thing um put some annotations uh, into it and how do we get those lines well surprise surprise the contours are gone oh no what to do now <laughs> well uh the first things first um we're gonna make a critical level and make it a dash line or the purple dash line well how do we start that well very simple of course why not um we go to the manage tab right here and then we go to object styles, you click on it, and now here in the bar we go for topo solid, yes of course. And now we're gonna make a new subcategory, and we will name it uh, critical level I guess, I know, critical yeah, level, makes sense. And voila, there we have it, now we're gonna give it a beautiful color purple voila let's go and we will give it a other uh, line pattern what will be good oh, um, are we gonna do this one whatever and then very important oh, uh, click on apply and voila that's the first thing that you need to do now the second one very important you click to the so topo solid you go to edit type right here and now we go here to contour display you click on edit and now we have this uh, a very beautiful uh, bar that's popping up well for uh, the critical level you need to add a level of course and where do you do that uh, you go to the insert tab and now uh, we have a new one and we will uh, do it first by a single critical level and the critical level um, oh, um, we will set it at maybe 100 yes and this will be a single value and now the subcategory that we recently 
a made one, we will um, here critical level. Then we just click on apply, click OK, yes. And one important thing, if the interval is 100, at the start you need to uh, set also 100. If you don't do that, you don't will be able to see the critical level. Click on OK, click on apply, of course. And when I deselect the top solid, there you have our critical level. And how you can be sure of that? Well, you go to annotate right here. We go to spot elevation, of course, and we will uh, use uh, um, the purple one. And as you see here, this is 100. Beautiful looking right here also. And quang quang. If you uh, want another critical level for some reason, um, for example, uh, 150 or 200, well, you go to, you're gonna do the same again. You go to the Manage tab right here. You go to Object Styles, Topo Solids, Topo Solid. Right here, you click on New One, uh, criti Critical Level 2. Voila, we go gonna give it a under uh, we're gonna brr, 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 um, this one dash dot and we will give it a other color, maybe a red apply, voila. You go again to the top of solid, edit type, contour, insert one, and we will do it uh, what did we say? 200? Yes. We're gonna make it a single value again and here 200 and we're gonna select our critical level 2 apply click ok apply and boom shakala there we have our second uh, contour at a, a distance of 200 uh, centimeters um, so we will annotate it again with spot elevation and we will um, use the black one now so we see the difference voila let's go and right here we have the 200 let's go oh la beautiful voila and that is how you do um, single counters now for the multiple ones it's um, quite the same you go to the type again on contour display you go to edit type then you insert one and we will make a it will be multiple so per maybe let's say five centimeters will it be too much i don't know we will see in a minute and we will add excuse me um this uh, simple line uh, we can leave it like this so you see uh, the distance between minus three meters and to 30 30 meters i guess this uh, he will then uh, count every five centimeters he will be um yeah, showing a uh, test line uh, because it's multiple uh, of values and not a single value just click apply again apply and there you see per five centimeters we have our dashed line okay it, it looks quite much so we're gonna halve it and make it 10 instead of five like this very simple voila of course Whoopa. and oh not that and voila now we see you have some uh, multiple uh, values for the contours well one tip that i want to give you of course is um, if you go to the contours again and you don't want to see the five or you're going to make a um insert one um yeah uh, yeah with the five i know it's too dense but you're gonna do it the same like here there's the contours apply okay apply okay now uh, he does the every five centimeters well for example if you don't want it again for the five centimeters go to edit type go to counter display and you won't delete them because if you delete them it will be gone and you need to insert a new one and um, uh, attach a subcategory, range type, blah 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 so we just uh, deselect this uh, checkbox you click apply apply and they are gone as you see i will deselect and they are gone only the 10 is showing uh, just the same by your critical levels oh not this one 
by the critical levels, you go to edit type, you go to edit, and you say, hmm, this single value I don't want to see anymore, just click apply, apply, up, and voila, it's gone. So keep that in mind that you don't delete any, you never know you need them in, yeah, in a certain uh, way. Um, well, the next thing, uh, if you want the same dashed uh, line and the same color, well, it's very simple. Instead, oh, not this one. Uh, edit. Instead of uh, the single value, you go to multiple values, and you just go again by minus. Or oh, it can just do zero because we don't go beneath uh, minus. So you click apply, 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 and normally he will show the second lines. So per 100 centimeters here, you will see a purple line. So we can play with it um, yeah, as much as you want. And now for the last thing, if this is your, uh, yeah, your ground and you want to uh, make a contour, well, very simple. You go to the Messing and Site tab. You go to the Property line for your property, Create by Sketching. And now you just click and we will do an offset of 15 and voila, there we go, up, up, nicely done, check it, voila, there we have it. Now we're gonna annotate it with a tag by category and we will, mm, boop, 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 yeah, we will see like this and this, this I don't want actually, I'm gonna I don't want a leader, I just want this, voila, this is way better. And now, as you see guys, it's very simple. And for the last one, we can do up, and that's the whole, I don't want to save it. Now we're gonna click right here and name it uh, property, oh, property, yes, voila. And that's how you probably uh, properly do that. Again, for the annotations, you can just spot elevation, we will do it purple, and you can just, uh, without the leader of course, and you can just vo voila, and there, annotate it as you wish, wish, and it's as simple as that. Don't overthink it too much, and you will be happy that you uh, did that like you see here it's a 200 yeah you need to aim a bit so you you are exactly on the purple line it's not that hard to be honest but sometimes it can be a little tricky and just do voila and then you can just change to the ones that are not that much important well they are important of course but you don't need to highlight them and just go like this Voila, and that's how you actually make a nice topo solid and uh, place some um, annotations on it. So, uh, yeah, that's quite it, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and um, yes, yeah, see you in the next video.